Have you ever tried the Nitro Thai Basil Daiquiri by Dave Arnold? Keep watching, because I'm going to make it for you right now. All right, so about five years ago, I would say, a book called Liquid Intelligence came out by Dave Arnold from Booker and Dax. And it's a game changer. I had never, he, he's taken a scientific approach to bartending. And one of the cocktails that he makes in it is the Nitro Thai Basil Daiquiri. I'm gonna make it for you. If you haven't read the book, go out and get it. Uh, honestly, it really is a game changer. He just, the way he, he thinks and talks about cocktails just changed totally the way that uh, I, I bartend nowadays. So we're going to use liquid nitrogen in this cocktail. It is pretty easy to get, however, you have to be careful using it. Uh, if you're in a bar, maybe make this cocktail. I don't know if I'd be using liquid nitrogen in cocktails at home. However, you can still make this uh, muddled up. It's just gonna be a little bit different. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is get about seven leaves of Thai basil, fresh, obviously. And I'm going to snap freeze it with liquid nitrogen. Now, the reason that Dave did this is uh, it makes the it makes this really beautiful, vibrant green color, and it doesn't allow the leaves, the, the basil to oxidize and sort of go brown. So we're just gonna add some liquid nitrogen to that. All right, the key to this is you need to sort of just let it freeze, snap freeze those basil leaves. And I don't wanna muddle it when there's still liquid nitrogen in there. So I'm just letting it evaporate away and I'm gonna muddle it. So you can sort of hear it when it's crunching around. How's that? Once again, be careful using liquid nitrogen. All right, it's actually gonna grab one out for you just to, to show you. Oh, wow, here you go. Get some more for you. It just sort of crumbles, see that? All right. I'm going to just crunch that up. So it's probably not safe the way I put my hands in there, but I've worked with liquid nitrogen for a long time now, and I know that it had totally evaporated and everything. So just be careful with that. All right, now we're going to add 60 mils of a white rum. I'm going to use the Bacardi, Carta Blanca. Next up, 20 mils of lime juice, uh, sorry, 20 mils of sugar syrup. This is Dave Arnold's recipe. 22 and a half mils of freshly squeezed lime juice. And another thing that Dave Arnold does, which totally changed the way I make cocktails, is he adds a little bit of salt to his cocktails. This is just some saline. I'm gonna do about three drops. It's just water and salt. And it really makes, adding salt to a cocktail really makes it pop the flavor in the drink. Give it a good shake. All right. Let's see how this goes. We're going to double strain it into a pre-chilled pre glass. Definitely need to double strain so that we don't get any of that basil, big parts of basil into the cocktail. And for a garnish, I'm going to just use a Thai basil leaf. So you are going to get a little bit of the little pieces of the Thai basil that is crushed in there. So uh, that's the Thai basil, nitro Thai basil daiquiri. I'm going to give it a try. Yeah, that tastes amazing. Really, really good. The Thai basil gives a sort of like an anise type of fennelly flavor to it. Really, really well balanced. Nice color. And just something different for a technique using the liquid nitrogen. So guys, please like, subscribe, comment. 
some of you might complain that I put my hands in there, but uh, see you again soon on Let's Talk Drinks. <laughs>